everybody on our channel keeps asking us, Ross, Heather, what kind of laptop do you guys use in your RV? Well, Heather's laptop, Ross's laptop, and I'm gonna explain them to you. We have and ran an online computer repair business for 15 years. So we know a little bit about laptops, but not a lot about laptops, just a little bit. Now let's go over these both together. This is Heather's laptop. The reason why she likes it because the screen flips completely around. You can actually take it in her bed and watch DVD movies. That's why this is fully approved for RVs, I think. Now this is touchscreen. Um, it's got a lot of power, it's got the i5. I don't wanna get too technical because not a lot of people know about technical stuff. But what I wanna tell you is this is fast enough for what you'll need to use it for. The screen actually flips all the way around. It's got the webcam, it's got the i5 processor. And you can use it as a regular laptop. It has touchscreen and it has uh, a lit up keyboard. See the keyboard lit up. Now, for some reason, the ladies like the touchscreen. They like the way they can use this as a business and they can fold it up and use it for movies. And you put it on your bed. Or you can actually have it like this and you can use it as a screen, movie screen. So people like that, okay? Now, that's Heather's. I'm not gonna bore you with Heather's even though I think it's pretty cool. I didn't think it was cool at first, but it's cool because it works for her. Now, let's go over to the man machine. Now this is the man machine. This is a HP laptop, and this is a touchscreen. I don't use the touchscreen. So if I do leave an Amazon link below, I'm gonna leave it without a touchscreen for a reason. I have a touchscreen, I don't like it because I don't like fingerprints all over my screen. If you're gonna do YouTube videos or any kind of work in your RV, this is a great laptop to have because it's got the i7, it's packed with power, and it's cheap. Both these laptops around, give or take around 500 bucks. That's cheap. This has got like 12 gigs of RAM. So you're not gonna need any more power than this right here. It's got the lit up keyboard. It's just, it, the screen does not flip around on mine and I didn't want that because I'm using this for business and video editing, okay, when we edit our videos. So this computer works good. It doesn't get hot, battery lasts a long time. Very, very happy with it. I never cared for HPs before um, in business because I just didn't like them. I thought they were built cheap. And they are kind of built cheap. Just like any other laptop, they're built cheap. They use the same parts. I don't care if you have a Dell, Acer, E-Machine, whatever, Gateway, if they still make Gateway. I think E-Machine bought Gateway, I don't know. But anyways, every laptop's the same. So, I mean, unless you go into the real high-end Panasonic Toughbooks or the Alienware, HP's just fine, guys. I mean, I, I have no problems with this laptop. I'm a computer guy and I like the laptop. So HP did come a long way. They, they make good laptops now. HP is not paying me for this. I'm just telling you right now that this is what works in our RV. It's been working great, and we're not changing anything. So just want to do a quick review on these. Heather's, mine, and I'll leave a Amazon link in the description below, and mine and Heather's. And remember, I think I'm going to leave the one without the touch screen on mine because, guys, don't touch your screen. You're going to get it dirty for crying out loud, and it's going to drive you nuts. This... There's a reason for the touchscreen, for the movies, because you can't get to the keyboard when you flip it. This, it's kind of silly having a touchscreen, because you don't need it, because you have a keyboard, and this doesn't flip. But they're both packed with memory, and I think uh, it's great for RVers, guys. You put this out in your patio. So they don't pay me to do this. Like I said, again, I'm just trying to help you guys out RVing. So like and share this video if it helped you out. This is basic stuff. It's not super expensive. And um, if you're shopping for a laptop, pick one up. If not, then don't pick one up. We'll, we're getting back to our daily vlog soon. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.